Let's take a look at a offline switcher. I'm using a, a Tiny 279. Here's the data sheet for it here. And uh, in this one here is the, it's good for a peak open frame, a wattage of, of 25 watts. Now, in a, in a previous um, video, I made a flyback transformer or DC to DC isolated converter out of a repurposed uh, common mode choke and a um, mouse fit and, an, and a uh, PWM controller, okay? Now, this, uh, this chip here is going to do all the work for us. It's, it has a built-in uh, MOSFET and it has an oscillator built into it that can control the, the output voltage here. So, uh, there's only four pins we have to hook up. The, uh, this D pin here is the MOSFET drain, goes right to the coil. And then this, these pins over here, these are all source pins and that goes to ground down there. Now they have a, a bypass pin and that's going to set the current rating of the unit here. So a, a 0.1 microfarad will be the standard rating, and then if you go one microfarad, it'll, it'll reduce the limit, and 10 will increase the uh, the limit. I got a 10 in there just because I had one. And then the only other pin we have to deal with is this enable pin. Now, uh, on the old setup, we had the, the, a diode and a capacitor and the load, and we controlled that with the uh, the PWM controller. In this case, we're going to use a Zener here. Now. The output voltage is going to be regulated uh, by the Zener diode, and when the output voltage is greater than the sum of the Zener, okay, and the forward voltage drop on the on the LED here in the uh, optocoupler, uh, the the, uh, the optocoupler will sink current from the enable pin. This is going to go there to ground, okay, and when the current exceeds the enable threshold current, the switching uh, cycle will be inhibited. So. This, it's going to try to maintain the voltage of this, um, this Zener diode here, okay? And plus the voltage drop across this uh, LED here. So, that's, that's, that's what's controlling it. Now, we added a, a 1K uh, resistor across here. Uh, now, on these Zener diodes, they have some uh, uh, leakage current, okay? So, uh, adding a, a resistor in parallel swamps out the, the Zener leakage current. Uh, the LED requires more current to turn on, and this makes the uh, the regulation more accurate. You know, I think this, in my case, I just left that out, but I can add that to to uh, increase the accuracy of this. And you can put another uh, uh, resistor from here, from the enable pin up to the um, positive, and that's usually about a th uh, three mega ohm resistor. So. And that will give us a uh, under voltage uh, protection also. Now, um, some of the other ones will have an extra coil here coming down for uh, and for an oil over voltage protector. But I'm this is just going to be the simplest way to, to hook this uh, chip up to see if it works. Just uh, basically the MOSFET and and two other pins. You know, one for the current and one to regulate the uh, the voltage on the output. So we're going to. Uh, we're going to see if it works. So here it is here, right there, and I'm going to I'm going to put 12 volts on the input here, and see what happens. We'll turn that on. So we've got uh, 4.6566 volts coming out. Now this the Zener here. I think this is a 3.3 or 3.9 uh, volt Zener. Now I can change that to change the the voltage on 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 the output here, but uh, this is just a little experiment to see if this thing, uh, if I can get the chip to work, and uh, it seems like it's working pretty good, it's maintaining the the voltage there, and I can put a uh, resistor across the uh, the LED and the uh, optocoupler to uh, increase the accuracy a little bit, but uh, yeah, I got uh, four point uh, six six volts on there, and uh, it seems to be working just fine. So now. This, um, you know, this circuit's not uh, I, practical to use it for anything. I, just, just to experiment to see if the, we can hook that chip up. Here's another diagram in the in this uh, spreadsheet or in the data sheet here that, you know, a, a better way to, to do it and more accurate to do it. But uh, now, you know, making your own uh, coil and uh, you know hooking it up is just uh, it's just fun to do because you can. You can buy these uh, units for a couple of bucks that uh, 
already said. They have the chip is actually underneath that uh, the the uh, transformer there, and uh, these actually have a um, bridge rectifier in them, so you can put AC into them. So, yeah, uh, not practical, but uh, it's just a good way to to uh, you know understand how this chip is working here. But that's um, uh, you know a, um, a flyback transformer or a DC to DC isolated converter using the uh, the tiny uh, two two seventy nine uh, you know uh, controller or IC. Thank you.